for Pops here. Uh, wrestling's been part of his life pretty much since uh, he came to the University of Iowa. What's it? What's it been a part of? Like, sorry. What's it been like for you to be a part of that? Watching your dad be so revered by so many people. Well, it's it's an honor. I love all the people that show all their love to him and the attention that he gets and reminiscing all the stories, all the great times he had together, all the memories. So it's wonderful for him to reenact a lot of that and be able to connect with old friends during this troubled time. So it's a great time. It's a wonderful time. A lot of the stories we hear uh, as we're walking around the table, some of them are like, yeah, we can't tell that one on camera, but uh, what are some things that you learned from your dad about, you know, things that he learned from the wrestling world that helped him be a dad to you? Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, being humble uh, and do most of the things through actions. So dad was always really good about that. You know, be the best person you can be. Be kind to others uh, and, and try your best in whatever you do. So, you know, give it 100%. Practice is big. Uh, and dedication to family probably is a big thing. Now, did, did you get dragged out on the mat? I did. I wrestled for Mankato, and then I wrestled one year at Cornell College in, uh, in, in uh, Mount Vernon, Iowa. What was it like wrestling for your dad? Oh, I never wrestled for my dad directly I, I, at the high school. Uh, but I did wrestle a lot with the college team, and those guys beat me up pretty good. So that was kind of fun. Uh, I look back on it, it was kind of an advantage. I was working out with the college team, and I think that made me a pretty good wrestler, too. I, I think it's a lot of it that has to do with the, the, the competition that you have. When you look around at his impact, not just on this university, but you know, the city of Mount the high school programs, or the high school programs in the state, um, how much should it be stated? It's, it's not overstated, but it's probably understated, or maybe it is understated. What was his impact on the sport here in Mankato specifically? I, I think it brings back a lot of positivity to the state and to wrestling itself. Uh, I think the history that he's been through and, and the connections people have made have been really important. But I, I think it has helped the sport a lot. And I'm really proud of him for everything he's done for the state. He's given his heart and soul for wrestling all his life, and he still loves it. He's still passionate about wrestling. He loves to see kids do well. He likes to see kids not only succeed in wrestling, but in also in life. He likes to hear success stories, how they're doing well in business or family life. And uh, that's a reflection, I think, of hard work in wrestling. Heard coming in that he said, I, I remember Coach when he was 70. He was 70 going on 22. Yeah. And he was 80 going on 22. And he was 90 going on 22. Uh, how fair of a statement is it to say he's 100 going on 22? I think it's pretty fair. He's still passionate about the sport. Uh, he just gets excited every day getting up and seeing everybody. Thank you.